Hey guys, Tony King here with another Doctor Strange After Effects tutorial. And in this one, as you can see on the screen here, we will be working on sort of Doctor Strange uh, magical orb, whatever you want to call it. I don't know exactly what it's called, but this is what we're going to make. Hey guys, I'm back with some more Doctor Strange magical powers here. Like, I have this like really cool that I'm doing right now and then we've got this really cool shield and also this lasso sort of thing. Yeah, it's pretty cool. But what I want to show you is this. It's like a really cool time thing where then when someone's like about to knock the crap out of me I can like turn back time so they don't knock me out. Alright, so uh here's my assistant who's going to uh Try to hit me. All right, guys, and that is it. Okay, now I'm going to show you in this episode, I'm going to show you about how to make these and how to put them into your actual footage. And then, since I think the, what I called the lasso effect, um, I think that's what I called it. I'm not sure if it's actually, that's the actual lasso. I just know Doctor Strange has a lasso, and I saw him do something similar to that in one of the trailers. But I will make an, al an alternative um, tutorial for that effect. Okay, and let's go ahead and get started and make um, our orb thing. So here I have a, I just call them symbols in my cop names, it's called a time symbol, a attack symbol, teleport symbol, and shield symbol. And to get started with this, you want to make a composition. Here I'm going to go into my composition settings, and you want to make this a square, so I just did 1080 by 1080 since I was filming at uh, 1920 by 1080, um, for so that I could put it in into um, into my actual footage without having to scale it up and lose some quality then I went ahead and made it um, 60 seconds well it's 59.28 seconds whatever 29.97 frame rate and that's fine background color it doesn't really matter okay so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the visibility on my layers and so what we have we have some rings here I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did with these rings. So let's go to effects and so I have a stroke and a glow effect. So if I take off the stroke effect you see we just have a circle that's glowing. If I take off glow effect we just have a circle. So what I did is I made a new solid. I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did. New solid uh, comp size uh, and see here if we go to the mask um, tool I guess it's called up here um, if you go down to ellipse and you double click ellipse it will make you a perfect circle which is what we want for these rings so let me go ahead and delete this and so I, I made this into a perfect circle and what I did then was I added a stroke effect so it would only be the outline and inside the stroke effect I increased the brush size so you could actually see it change the color to green and I put it on transparent which uh, makes it so that there's a black background and that you can sort of see it so you see there's the, there's nothing behind it okay it's easier to see on black so let's look at that then I want it I want some glow on it so I added glow and on glow settings I just I'm pretty sure I just put glow flat out glow without adding without changing any of the settings and then, so I had several rings. I had one in the middle, and I'm not. Uh, so I had three rings here. And so I was looking at the actual effect that I saw in the trailer, and a snapshot that I found on Google Images, and I saw some uh, crazy, I don't know, magical symbols, I guess, on the outer ring. And so I Google. I immediately Googled magical font symbols. And here's what I came up with. Um, 
it, it looks nothing like what it, it does in the actual trailer not really anyways but it does look like some magical symbol I mean I don't I don't want to plagiarize them I, you know you can always personalize this and so the font I found was is called Kurohanza I basically just did ASDF 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 ASD um, and that's what came out and I actually had duplicated the the ring layer that that it's on and inside here as you can see there's a mask on it so you go to text path options and you choose that mask for me it was mask 2 okay so that's how I got it to be a circle and on this I just added a glow and I changed the text color to the green that I had chosen before and on the on the inner circle I saw on the Doctor Strange image uh, sort of a uh, a design on there which the closest letter to it is like a V and again I'm not trying to plagiarize so I went ahead and just made a bunch of V's and I turned the opacity down to 34 and uh, I did the same thing I, I just duplicated that other layer and put it in Times New Roman and just scaled it down so that it would fit on the inside okay and now there there are some squares on the inside so I went ahead and made these two squares that fit on the inside. They are exactly, the, I made them exactly the same way as I made the other ones. I made a new solid and then instead of hitting the ellipse tool, I hit rectangle tool. And that just made a square the size of the composition and I scaled it down to fit on the inside. Okay, now as you can see, there is some animation to this as it rotates and the reason you might have been asking yourself why did I make this into an entire minute comp which is a very long comp well you know for for some people they they like the really exact measurements of things so what I what I wanted to do since is since this is the time symbol you know I might as well turn a whole a whole rotation in one minute so that's why I made the composition an entire minute to just to make it so that I was moving at one rotation per minute I guess okay and as you can see if we turn off the visible the alpha channel then we can still see that there is not there's no black so we don't have to use screen which is great okay and and so to edit the rotation was pretty simple you know I just Hit rotation. I started at whatever position I started them at, and at the very end, I had them all at either one rotation or two rotations. I think there was only there's two layers that have uh, that have the rotation of two, so they just go twice as fast. But you can hardly even tell. Okay, and now let's go back to animating it in. So let me go ahead and select everything and hit U. So for most of these, it's just a scale. So I started on the internal ring, and I just I uh, scaled it up, and then on the others, it's just a it's just the opacity that comes up. And as you can see, the rings come out, but the rest is just opacity. And yeah, so that's very simple, and the other symbols are very similar. I I made this time symbol first, and then I just copy and paste it over here. As you can see, this one is very crazy. So first off, I retyped something else. I wrote Tony Kiang blah 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 um, for that. I changed all the colors to this orange gold. I added another text layer in the center. Added two X's in the center and X's on the outside. I added a bunch of these squares and rings and so I basically just changed it up a bit to make it more complicated like I like what I saw in the trailer this uh, symbol that I'm assuming is for attacking or some sort of attack or shield I don't I'm not exactly sure but it did look quite a bit more complicated than the time symbol thing so I did I didn't make it more uh, crazy and 
here's here it is at full resolution. And then I made I made the teleport symbol, which I don't know if it's actually a thing. I just needed something to cover it up. Myself making a uh, copy of me, so I guess that would be cloning symbol or something actually. And then the shield symbol, which is basically the attack symbol, but with with less chaos, I guess. And to to finish the look, as you can see here, this is a lot sharper than everything else. And I mean, since we're at a distance, first of all, it wouldn't be so sharp. So what I did was I added an adjustment layer here to turn on visibility. And here's the more uh, rough cinematic look. So I just added Gaussian, 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 whatever blur. However you say that word, blur. And I just put it to 15.3. Whatever, whatever looks good for you works. And you actually don't have to use it if you don't want to I just think it looks better okay now I'm gonna go back to uh, the actual composition of me putting in there here's attack come and as you can see here I am holding the um, the thingy bobber you can't really hear me talking over it I said attack thing I'm pretty sure um, and so as you can see it moves with my hand fairly well for the resolution so we can see it see it moves with my hand and so what you could do is if you have time and effort and energy you can start doing some tracking but and by doing this what I would advise you to do is I would advise you to I don't know draw like a like a dot with a marker or a, a plus sign with a marker on the hand you're going to use for the effect uh, and then just track that in After Effects and then uh, then make the, uh, the symbol as a track object for that but since first of all I was standing very far away from the camera and second of all I was kind of lazy I didn't do that so what I did and most people don't aren't really well I can't say most people sorry to most people but um a lot of people aren't into into tracking much um, I know that the integrated tracker system here in After Effects isn't perfect you'd have to go into Mocha which is uh, in a I don't know where it is it's it's incorporated in After Effects but it takes a little bit longer to actually use so what I did was I just used a position and I, I also made it into to follow my 3d motions with my hand I made it a 3d layer so I could use some rotation as well but I didn't think I don't think I had to use it on this you, I did use it on the shield but what I did was I just Went, went ahead and edited the position every once in a while with all these keyframes down here as you can see in bam it just follows my hand pretty smoothly and anyways we're far enough that it looks pretty good then what I did was I added an adjustment layer so let me turn the visibility of the mask on as you can see it's just a circle around around the actual attack symbol and so I just for this one I had to do some positioning I think yes uh, just a, just a little bit it's a little time consuming but it's worth it in the end then I feathered it out a lot to 93 and expanded it by 55 so that it wouldn't just be hard edge right here and what I used this for it was for like the glow so first of all I I put a Gaussian blur Gaussian again this word this is like my favorite blur to use but I can't even say it okay whatever I put this to seven just so that it adds a little more blur to it and I don't know sells the effect and then on top of that I added curves and added some red to make the glow around it a little bit to, to seem as if it's actually there affecting and also I wasn't satisfied with what um, because as you can see it's very faded out the attack symbol without any effects uh, I should have turned off the, the glow 
that I that I'm about to tell you that I added. Hey, I added some glow. <laughs> um, at first, but okay. Here I'm gonna tell you I added blur at uh, not blur glow. I mean, sorry, just so that you can actually see it through this uh this effect and that you can that it covers my hand really instead of just being my hand with some red circles going over it. So it actually sells the effect. And uh, this is all you need to do. Just um, just put it over your footage, scale it down to the size you need, and position it where you need it, or track your hand and do it like that. But uh, that is my tutorial for making these uh, magical symbol orb things for Doctor Strange. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope. You stay tuned for my lasso effect tutorial that I'm going to make in a few minutes when I finish with this. And I hope you subscribe to my channel for more tutorials. And you can watch my Weird White Guy series. And yeah, like the video, comment down below for any other tutorial requests. And comments, concerns, questions whatever you need. Thanks for watching.